Welcome to Nugget 105 with Steve Groman. Today we're going to talk about a really fun place. Well, fun, I think, is Florida, but specifically mangroves. And I know that you were spurred to do this nugget because a young lady recently asked at one of our meetings if we are hurting our planet, basically, and are we causing global warming? And she was actually taking it kind of personal. Yes, and that actually does happen quite a lot. And one of the reasons is the way all of that information is being presented. It's always alarmist in nature the way they do. July 2020, Science News did an article, Sea Level Rise Could Drown Mangroves. And it starts right off, mangrove forests can only take so much. The resilient, salt-tolerant, twisty trees have so far managed to handle the rising sea levels, providing a valuable buffer to coastal communities. And that's true. They do do that. That's true. But they go on to say that they have a limit and mangrove forests cannot survive rising seas more than 7 millimeters per year. They say the sea levels are rising at an average of 3.4 millimeters per year. And the problem is, they say the uh, projections, current projections of, as of today will be 5 to 10 millimeters in by the year 2100. And that could drown the mangroves and it could, of course, cause trouble. But one thing we always have to keep in mind, their issue is here, CO2, it's us destroying the atmosphere and all that. We'll get to that in a minute. But we need to remember that God put us here, God put this earth here to be inhabited, the Bible says in Isaiah. God knows what's here. The problem is, everything is looked at from an evolutionary worldview, of course, which is opposite of what the Bible says. And so therefore, the whole nature of urgency, they can just portray it however they want to. What I mean by that is, according to these same people, they say we had ice all the way down to Kansas City. It's not there anymore. It's been melting back since the moment it was put there. Ice would have come in at the time of the flood. The Bible explains why everything is the way that it is. If ice is all the way to Kansas City and it's been melting back, Why do we think it should stop melting today? It makes no sense to think that because there is ice melting, we're destroying the planet. The ice was melting when it was in Wisconsin state line also. And that's what causes the sea levels to rise, is that the ice is melting. Yes, and it's just a consequence of sin. It came in at the time of the flood, and it has been melting since it was put here at the time of the flood, and it's not going to stop until it's gone. And we've seen some beautiful mangrove forests all along the eastern coast of Florida at St. Lucie County State Parks and several botanical gardens in Coral Gables, the Fairchild Tropical Garden, and then Port St. Lucie, the botanical gardens there, and then Flamingo Gardens. These places are yes. awesome. They're amazing. Oh, they're beautiful. And definitely worth going to. A lot of the studies are being done in the Everglades and Biscayne National Park because these national parks have such a huge volume of the mangroves. And the problem here is they say the recent ice age was 26,000 to 20,000 years ago. Well, we know there was no such time frame as that. So everything is, everything is skewed based on their understanding. And the team focused in this article on a period between 10,000 down to 6,000 years ago. Well, everything 10,000 to 6,000 years ago, according to them, that time frame, is obviously just a belief system. Nobody was measuring anything, even if there was such a time. There was no such thing. And so everything is computer generated and computers can only analyze the data that is given to them. The way this article ends, it talks about how the uh, mangroves in the next 30 years, and how many times have we heard in the next five years, the next 10 years, next decade, uh, the right, world's going to come to an end. I think we had a vice president that was always yeah. trying to tell us that in 10 years or 20 years, it's just the party's going to be over. over. Yeah, and we should have been that's... gone long, long time ago. So this is nothing new, but like you mentioned, there are are people even to come out to our meetings that are very, very concerned about this stuff. I was kind of surprised. The future of the world's mangroves is in our hands. They say establishing a threshold for the mangrove survival is key to future coastal management. And that's true. There's nothing really wrong with that. But then it goes on. The findings underscore the need for the world to, quote, quickly and aggressively act to mitigate greenhouse gas emissions. There we go. It's our fault, which it's not. But I have plenty of articles that show that, too. Another another nugget, another topic. It is especially painful to think that through our actions, we could be causing mangroves that provide critical protection to people to drown. Well, there you have it. Here are some pictures of when we're in the Florida Keys, specifically Key Largo and Long Key, where we pulled over. And it's just sort of neat. You can just walk. 10 feet from one side of the road and 10 feet from the other side of the road and and be in the water. They are stopping erosion. But one big hurricane will come through and wipe Wipe that out. out. And they'll just have to grow back. And they will. Right. We can't stop the hurricanes or the different storms, tropical storms that cause this. And, I, you know, they are critical. The they are critical. Are they are beautiful. Like it says in the last sentence, there, uh, we need to get started yesterday to ensure these important ecosystems are, are around to protect us into the future. And that and, may well and be. how are but, they going to do that? Are they going to uh, do it agriculturally or yeah. politically? 
Well, I know that most of this has been talking about losing these mangrove forests. We also found this article, or information, I should say, about mangroves in Texas. There's a cooperation between the Texas A&M University and the University of Houston that are working on this mangrove study about mangroves in Texas. It sort of has the opposite opinion of these Which is typical, which is absolutely typical. But usually people just hear one version of it. But like this article says, most of Texas coastline is fringed with grassy marshes, which are dotted with scattered groups of small, tropical, salt-tolerant trees called black mangroves. Over the coming decades, however, these patches of mangroves are expected to expand due to rising global temperatures and milder winters. That's kind of opposite of what they said earlier, isn't it? As a result, the large areas of Texas coast that historically have been grassy salt marshes may become dominated by mangroves. Will this disrupt the service fishery nurseries, erosion control, water quality improvement that wetlands provide? Well, as it ends here, it says mangroves in Texas is a long-term research project studying which wetland values are most likely to be affected by the change from salt marshes to mangroves. This information will allow coastal industries such as fisheries and tourism to be efficiently managed in response to ongoing and future changes in this biological environment. So it seems like the Floridians and the Texans have a little bit different view on these different plants things. because they are doing different things. I guess maybe... Well, They're becoming aggressive here in Texas. They are encroaching also in Florida. They are doing the same thing, but the focus of that article was specifically on how they're losing them for erosion control. Yes, and creating a panic situation. According to these people, this earth has been around since 4.6 billion years ago. It hasn't been, but that's what they claim. It's managed to do just fine for a long, long time, according to them. It's just the need to control, the need to panic people, and, and it works. Sadly. It sadly works. I think we should just go back to relying on what God says and just leave it at that. And I think we should just go to the county parks and the city parks and the national parks. The botanical gardens. And just enjoy it. And, and enjoy, enjoy it. the it beautiful is plants. It, that God created. Absolutely. It's all his creation. Anything else? No, I think that's good. All right. Well, thank you.